Hello and welcome to this uh, another episode uh, from my channel uh, Exceedingly Good Reviews. This is my thoughts on AEW Dark. Now you don't see many AEW Dark reviews so uh, this uh, I'm just going to go through a quick run through of all the matches that took place on the 22nd of September episode of AEW Dark. There was 11 matches in total so a lot to go through. Uh, I'll run through each match and then I will give my thoughts on the show as a whole. So the first match, uh, just want to make one point actually at the beginning. Uh, I do apologise in advance if I butcher anybody's name apart from the butcher because his name is the butcher so you can't really butcher the butcher. Anyway, that's something completely different. Yeah, so uh, my apologies if I, uh, if I brutalise and butcher anybody's name because I don't mean to, I'm just very poor at pronunciation. So here we go, we've got Fuego del Sol and Rembrandt Lewis taking on the team of Stu Grayson and Evil Uno. Yeah. The Dark Order dominated this match. So uh, Evil Uno with an inside-out flatliner for the win. What more can you say about that? That was that. Second match, Christopher Daniels going one-on-one -on -one with Ricky Starks. Uh, Ricky Starks, part of the Taz... Uh, team Team Taz, the little faction they've got going on. Ricky hits uh, a spear and pins for the win. Uh, good match. Uh, it's nice to see Christopher Daniels get a run out. Uh, uh, I watched a lot of his uh, matches in TNA Wrestling uh, back in the day. And uh, yeah, it's nice to see the Fallen Angel, the Ring General, get uh, a little bit of... Uh, is he the Ring General? I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, the Fallen Angel, it's nice to see him get a run out, but ultimately it was Ricky Starks who got the win. Uh, Ricky Starks went on to commentary following this match and joined the commentary team, so sat alongside uh, Taz and uh, Excalibur, and uh, I forget her name, I do apologise. But yeah, the, uh, he joins the commentary team, and he does really well in commentary, I don't mind him on commentary actually. Third match of the night, Puff and Calvin Stewart versus The Butcher and The Blade. Uh, Eddie Kingston coming out with them in, in their corner. Uh, the Butcher and the Blade isolate and dominate the match. They isolate Calvin. Uh, when Puff finally comes in, gets a bit of a, a, an offence. Uh, good showing from Puff, but ultimately it's uh, the Butcher and the Blade double teaming on Calvin, uh, pinning him and winning the match. Butcher and the Blade win. Uh, there's a, quite a theme there going from the two tag matches so far, but hey-ho. Uh, fourth match of the night, Sir Pentico with Luther in his corner against Will Hobbs. Will Hobbs seems to be high on uh, AEW's um, list of stars, potential stars, rising stars. He seems to be on the up and up and, uh, you know, he's got the physique to go with it. So, you know, let's see where they go with it. Uh, so Sir Pentico in this occasion going up against Will Hobbs. Uh, Luther uh, distracts Will, uh, so Pentico. Sir, Sir Pentico. There, there I go, butchering names. Uh, so, so Serpentico can try and take the advantage. Uh, Will Hobbs dominates with his power. Uh, when, uh, Luther helps Serpentico get on top at one part of the match, but ultimately Will Hobbs hits his spine buster for the win. Will Hobbs wins. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, fifth match of the night. Fifth one already. Uh, Dante Smiley and Max Stardom versus the Lucha Bros with Eddie Kingston in their corner. The Lucha Bros isolate Max Stardom, uh, really gets punished. Finally, Smiley gets into the ring, gets a bit of action. But then there's a double team move by the Lucha Bros on Max for the win. Yeah, it is what it is. Most of these matches, they're quite forgettable. But hey-ho, it gives some people something to do, a bit of a run out. Like I say, with Christopher Daniels, he gets a, he gets a, a match that he wouldn't normally necessarily get. Uh, the sixth match of the night. Now, I do apologise. Rising. Uh, yeah, I think it was Rising and Xander Gold versus 5 and 10 of the Dark Order. Dark Order, isolate Xander Gold for a while. 5 and 10, double team Xander. Pin for the win. There's a common theme going here with all these matches so far. Uh, seventh match of the night, Kevin Blackwood and Daniel Garcia taking on Sonny Kiss and Joey Janela. Jo uh, Sonny Kiss and Joey Janela uh, are quite an entertaining tag team. I do enjoy watching them watching them compete. 
Uh, this is more of an even match, this. Uh, plenty of offence for both teams. Sonny hits the diving split leg drop on uh, Daniel Garcia for the win. Uh, that's a nice uh, move. Uh, surely it's got to hurt the inner thighs, groin area, surely. But hey, that's the move that that, that, that he does. And uh, it's what ultimately won them the match. So uh, Sonny Kiss and uh, Joey Janela with the win here. Eighth match of the night. Embadu. Embadu? Embadu. Uh, Mbadu and Cruz against Billy Gunn and Austin Gunn with Colton, the Gun Club, coming out here. Uh, Mbadu and Billy start the match, two big guys, but ultimately the end comes. Billy hits the Famouser and Cruz and wins. You know, these are quite quick matches. Uh, ninth match. <sighs> Kyleen. Kyleen King? Killian, Kill Killian King? New, quit new. <laughs> against uh, Serena Deeb uh, both get good offence in Deeb uses the Serenity Lock whatever that is the Serenity Lock uh, and uh, taps out Killeen 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 yeah taps her out Serena Deeb wins uh, yeah so 10th match of the night this was an absolute stormer of a match this was a belt of a match Go out of your way to watch this match. This was great. I've never heard of either of these two competitors. Ben Carter versus Lee Johnston. And whoa, this was the match of the night. This is one of the matches of the week, I think. This has the potential to be a match of the week. It was phenomenal. Uh, I mean, not knowing these two competitors, uh, when this match started, I'm like, well, I don't really care. I don't really know who these people are, I'm not invested in either of these individuals, yeah, one of them, uh, Ben Carter, has British flags, I think he comes from uh, Jersey, one of the Channel Islands, uh, so yeah, there was a bit of, uh, okay, patriotism there, you know, like oh, a fellow Brit, you know, I'm going to support him, but I didn't know anything about either of them, uh, neither of them really stood out much, like I said, Ben Carter's got the British flag, the Union Jacks, but my lord, they hook your attention early on. Uh, such a fast pace, uh, high impact moves, risk taking, one upsmanship between these two individuals, and it ends up being one hell of a match. And for for me, for me, in my opinion, this was the match of the night. Like I said, it could be the match of the week if you rated all the matches uh, from all the major shows this week. This could potentially be match of the week. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think if you agree with me on that one. Uh, if you don't, let me know what you think could be the match of the week. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the, uh, the, the these two can move. So many new near falls, false finishes. But Carter hits a frog splash, frog splash for the win. Amazing match. Ben Carter, one to watch, I think. And then the 11th and final match of the, the night was uh, Eddie Kingston against Brian Pillman Jr. And, well, trying to follow that previous match, they had no chance. That previous match was an absolute stormer of a match. And... Uh, yeah, there was there was just nothing left for me to give to this performance, unfortunately. Um, and I like both both of these performers. Uh, but yeah, the, it was a good physical match, but no way anything could follow the previous matches in my notes that I put, uh, because it couldn't. Uh, ultimately, Eddie Kingston won the match, good for him. Uh, and that was that. That's your 11 matches from this AEW Dark. Like I said, uh, there's a lot of matches... On these shows, uh, they're getting a lot of individuals ring time. There's a lot of people that aren't even, I don't think, on AEW contracts. It's like uh, talent that they're bringing in to fill out these shows. Uh, they're just kind of scouting, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it was all, it, it, all in all, you know, if, if you missed it, then, oh, you know, I wouldn't cry a tear or anything over it if you've missed it. Apart from, go out of your way to watch that Ben Carter versus Lee Johnston match, because that was a, a, was a belter. I really enjoyed that match. I got really invested in it. Like I said, two individuals that I knew nothing about. Normally, when it's two individuals like that, you're like, mm, pff, I'm not really bothered. You know, I'll go make myself a cup of tea. Uh, I'll go get a glass of water, something to eat maybe. And, you know, it doesn't really matter if I miss any of the action in this one. But no, these two hook you right near the beginning. You, you, you get hooked and, yeah you get your just reward for that because these two put on an absolute stormer belt over match so yeah there was that's my uh, thoughts on 
uh, AEW Dark, a very missable show, as I think most of them are. I do apologise. Uh, let me know what you think in uh, in the comments. Uh, if you think that you know maybe I'm being a bit harsh on these AEW Dark shows, they just remind me. I mean, there's a lot of matches. It is a wrestling show. There's no pro, not really any promos or any backstage segments, which I do like. I like that it's just wrestling based, but yeah, it's just not the quality there, which is a shame. Uh, but yeah, sorry, I do. I'm babbling again. I do apologize for babbling. I'm trying to keep these videos short. Uh, but yes, yeah, so go out of your way to watch the Ben Carter Lee Johnson match from AEW Dark on the 22nd of September 2020. Because it was a belter. Uh, every other match, if you missed it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much. You've not really missed much. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know if you like this video. If you want me to continue reviewing AEW Dark. Uh, apologies to uh, those diehard AEW fans. If you think I'm being a bit harsh on the AEW Dark show. Uh, I'll be doing more reviews of more shows uh, in the future. Uh, I'll do some notes on NXT, NXT UK. Uh, AEW Dynamite, SmackDown Raw, etc, etc. And I'll try and do more of these videos. But let me know uh, what you like, what you don't like, what you agree with. Uh, at the end of the day, these are my thoughts on the show. What are your thoughts on the show? Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Like I said, drop me a comment. Let me know what you want me to review in the future. If you agree with my opinions or not. Otherwise, stay safe. Stay classy. Stay classy, San Diego.